So the, the whole cute but psycho but cute thing for women, that shit don't work no more. That's done for 2020. No more. Um, I'm crazy. That's how I show you I love you. That that don't fly no more. Nah. You know, people. There's a, there's there's this thing about all beauties. All bodies are beautiful, which I agree with. But that's only. For everyone except short men. There's a stigma about short height men. Women actually ostracize, women ostracize short men so much that it's so normal that they don't even think that it's body shaming. It's such a joke to talk about a short guy. The comments, don't even look at me if you're not six feet. Or even the backhanded comments, they'll be like, oh, he texts me back same day, he must be short. That's, that's body shaming. It's, it's negative and it would never fly. You could never do that to a woman. Petite women or short women. Men don't make fun of them. We, we're not like, oh, she better be average size, you know? We don't make fun of that. And if we tried, if we did, the backlash would be crazy. There would be all types of campaigns, all types of movements, all types of hashtags. But for whatever reason, when it comes to the short guy or even the average height guy, people for whatever reason, think that it's a joke and it's a game. And when you haven't lived that life, when you don't know what it's like, it hurts because it's like, unlike other body, um, unlike other body anxieties, short height is different, especially for a guy. Let me tell you why. I can't control my height. I can't get some magical surgery. I can't wear some magical stilts every day. I can't fake my height right but with other body anxieties and, and, and discomforts often you can do things whether it be natural or cosmetic if you feel like you're overweight you can take care of that naturally or cosmetically if you don't like your nose if you don't like your hair if you don't like your skin there's things you can do and and, and that makes you feel better but when it comes to body shaming like a dude's height like that shit is old man and you got to find a way to stop normalizing and so what I've decided to do is anytime I get a chance, I'm calling people out, specifically women. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash for it. I know people are gonna say, men still have it easier. But I just want a simple acknowledgement. Like people, it's crazy. Women, men, people in general can't bring themselves to even acknowledge that discriminating on and talking negatively to shame a man's height. They don't even think that's wrong. They can't even acknowledge the fact that it's wrong. So I want to acknowledge that. And so every other stigma that people talk about, I'm gonna shit on that. So cute but psycho but cute, that shit ain't hot no more, ladies. If you post something of your body, but then shit on another guy and be like, he's thirsty, I'm calling you out on that shit too. If you're a tiny girl, if you're a petite girl, I'm gonna be like, yo, you too little. If you're thin, be like, you're too skinny. If you don't got no ass, you're not thick enough. And I'm gonna see how people react to that because I guarantee you people are gonna shit on me. People are gonna think I'm the worst guy on the planet. And those same people won't acknowledge the one thing I'm asking them to do about body shaming and discriminating against short men. So be prepared, it's going down.